Hello, my name is Slavi Merino. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Dropbox versus Copy app. Those two cloud storage apps allow you to put files on the cloud. Let's start first with Dropbox. If you don't have a Dropbox, then you may use my referral and that way you will get a bonus of disk space could be 500 megabytes. Actually, both of us will get 500 megabytes for Dropbox. And when you visit my referral link for copy, you will get another five gigabytes on top of the, the initial five gigabytes. So if you don't have a Dropbox, please visit slavi.biz slash Dropbox. And that will redirect you to the Dropbox website. First, I'm going to install the app. Actually, it has to be a download link. Install. The download is complete. Let's double click on the file. Press OK to install it. Run. Let's click on install. Dropbox. Is going to start. Normally it gives a tour how to use it and if you see here in the bottom right corner there's an icon here and here it asks us if we have an account or if we don't. Since I have an account I'm going to choose that. And let's log in and here you can choose the size of your disk space that Dropbox allows you Normally they give you two gigabytes, but if you join from my link, it will give you an extra 500 megabytes. With copy, as I mentioned, the initial disk space is 500, actually, I'm sorry, five gigabytes. And when you join from my link, you will get another five gigabytes. Let's click on next. In most cases, you can click typical. There's tour, so here, they show you that the green where the green arrow is, and that's the, the Dropbox icon. And it will integrate with the Explorer, and you can right click and share a folder or uh, get a link to it. Let's click on next, and let's open the Dropbox folder. And here it starts synchronizing with some of the files. You have some information here, and it's synchronizing. It shows that. It's working, it's downloading files right now. So since I don't wanna do that right now, I'm going to pause the, the synchronization. Pause syncing. I'm going to install the copy program. So I mentioned that the link is slavi.biz slash copy and hit enter. Please enter the information. But since I have an account, I'll click login. And I'm logged in. You can click on the install app. So let's double click on the app. Start. There's a super simple process again. And the installation is done. Let's click on finish. So let's log in. Let's click on login. And it's the folder we can select it. Click a different folder, but let's keep things simple and click continue here and click on block. So that way the app will have access to the internet and the firewall will not be blocking it. Here I went one level up. Here you can see Dropbox and copy. They basically have the same goal. The idea is to have the, your files online. So let's review the preferences side by side. Both apps, they have really nice and clear interface. They can start with the computer. They both support referring people. You can refer as many people as you want, but with Dropbox, there's a limit. You can earn up to 32 gigabytes. Each referral will give you 500 megabytes, but if you're a paying customer, they will give you a gigabyte per referral. Here I'm getting five gigabytes per referral with, with the copy. If you want to click here, interface, notifications, the bandwidth. Here you have the, sh the folders that you want to share. 
here's the limitations here we copy it has the same idea as we have here with Dropbox there's a line synchronization uh, as I mentioned if you have one computer that is fully synchronized with the cloud storage other computers will download from it you can limit if you want and about normally I'd like to uncheck that option just in case I want to be I don't want to be sending some information that it's up to you actually it this option might help the development of a copy app if you click manage files in the files you can delete stuff and so on let's see how you can share files and go to Dropbox there's lots of files here and I can go to public folder so for example if you want to share a folder we can create a test folder and we can right click it and then share this folder or browse on Dropbox website it will open a browser and it will show that folder there's Firefox and it's loading folder is empty here from this option you can share the files the beauty of Dropbox is that it allows you to share direct links to files for example if you have test and as a text file you can save it I'll save and then you can close it you can directly you can get a link to that file here copy public link so if you want to share a text file you can paste it into the browser that is your user ID that's the folder within the public folder here and there's another folder called test and at the end is the file name this is interesting and nice because Dropbox doesn't obstruct your view and doesn't add any additional extras with copy things are a little bit different and I've seen that let's, let's do a test let's copy that file and copy it to my copy folder it will start synchronizing in a minute copy action copy public link it's being copied let's view it click here it shows a file it loads the file here shows the branding shows the navigation and you have to click again in order to view the contents of it it's still loading and that's the contents of the file it is up to you for you to decide this is the thing I don't like as a user but I can see the benefit of of a company creating that kind of shared screen because that way if I share a file with my friends those friends they will see the content of the file but they will also see that it's an it's an app and they can go and see the prices and they can download it it's an, a free advertisement for the copy app so there's multiple points of view here like from users perspective I don't like it but from a company's perspective I think it's brilliant try both services and you can tweet about uh, your experience to Orbisius. Please join by using my links, which I'm going to include in, in the description of the video as well as right now. So they are slavi.biz slash Dropbox. And the other one is slavi.biz slash copy. And those links that will redirect you to respective sites and both of us will earn some disk space thanks for watching and have a great day bye